Amanda, open up, huh? Hi. Oh, great. I did all our shopping. Oh. Whew. Here's yours. Oh, great. Large curd. <laughs> What'd you get? A potato. Baked. That's it. A baked potato roto. I am very disappointed in it. Would you please wait a minute? This potato's gonna be smothered with butter, sour cream, chives, bacon bits, grated cheese, chocolate olives, a salami chunks, and anchovies. Ooh, yeah. a potato pizza. <laughs> How come you're binging? You haven't done that in a long time. It's a holiday. If I play my cards right, this is gonna be the best New Year's Eve I ever had. Besides, Brenda, it's, it's a good idea to put a couple of extra pounds on you for January. What with Jack Frost nipping at your thighs. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to do tonight. Mm. Here, live it up. <laughs> yeah. Sally! Happy New Year! Sally! Happy New Year, Happy Happy New Year, New Year Rhoda! New Year. I got a surprise for you kids. Yes. Okay, to celebrate. Some champagne. Oh, oh, one for you, one no. for you. Thank you. Oh, you know, I feel kind of crummy. I gave Carlton one, too. Why should you feel crummy? <laughs> well, I, uh, I play kind of a little joke on him. You know, I shook the bottle up real hard before I gave him one. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. On New Year's Eve, the poor yeah. little thing's favorite holiday. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, I better warn him not to open that bottle, you huh? Should. Yeah. Great. Ah, 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 ah. Carlton? Yeah, what is it? Uh, Carlton, uh, don't open that bottle now. Too late. You opened it already? It didn't take much doing. What a pop. What happened? Well, the minute that cork started to go, I stuck the bottle in my mouth. <laughs> what a trip. I drained the rascal in 12 seconds. Hold up my record. <laughs> that man is having a better time tonight than I will. Thanks for the champagne. All right. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight? Oh, tonight? Listen, tonight I am working. You have a flight on New Year's Eve? Yeah, I need the money. And now that I think of it, it's uh, really not worth it. Why? Why? Uh, do you know there's nothing worse than a flight on New Year's Eve? You know, last year at midnight, I was just about to serve the champagne, and there they were, an entire 747 full of people yelling, whoopee, wearing bath bags on their heads. Including <laughs> the pilot. Is it too late to get a ticket? Brenda. Beats a potato. Brenda, would you please stop? It is not a big tragedy if you don't have a date for New Year's Eve. It's not? No, of course it isn't. Look at me. I could really make this into a tremendous downer. I mean, not being with Joe and all. I'm not going to do that. Look, it's just another night of the year. That's all. I mean, everybody is running around crazy saying it's New Year's Eve. To me, it's just another Friday night. So, Brenda, you're not doing anything tonight? Mm, not unless I do my last resort thing. And I promised myself I wouldn't do it. See, I have this backup, Lenny Fiedler. Every year he calls me up to go out with him, and every year I always hold out for something better. Then at the last minute I call him up and we go somewhere. <laughs> Sounds terrific. Why don't you do that tonight? Sally, you haven't met Lenny. <laughs> Oh, boy, I really have to run. Yeah, I'm leaving too, Brent. Okay. Hey, what time is it? Maybe I should give old Len a ring. Well, it's already five. Oh, got plenty of time. Last year, I didn't call till 11.30. Oh, hiya, babe. Hiya, Joe. I hope you don't mind. Just called and let me in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw him in the hall. He told me. No, it's okay. I just wanted to deliver that. Oh, what, what is that? Thank you. Oh, that's a, a business gift that one of my clients sent over to the office. Oh. Cheese of the month. Oh, if my luck, it's goat. <laughs> oh, Joe, it's beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It's okay. I thought you could use it if you were having some people over tonight. Oh, no, I have no plans for tonight. Are you kidding? I'm doing what you're doing. I'm staying home and going to bed early. Like you always say, Joe, only a fool goes out on New Year's Eve. Well, as a matter of fact, I am going out tonight. Oh, how great! <laughs> yeah, yeah, some friends of uh, Charlie Burke's are inviting whole bunch of friends up to this big house they have in Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah, actually, mm. it's more like a farm. Ooh, 
Oh, wow. Yeah. And they're having this uh, party. Uh, whoopee. Uh, party time. And huh? they invited me and Charlie to stay over in this little guest house That's they have. Nice. And we'll get to see the games tomorrow. Football, old Joe. Yeah, it sounds like fun, doesn't fun. it? Fun. It sounds sensational. Now, my problem is I, I can't decide what I'm going to do tonight. But you just said that you're going to stay home tonight. Did I? Yeah. Well, the thing is, my head is spinning. I have had so many invitations to so many parties, Joe. You know, I don't know whether I should go out, you know, and brave the crazies or stay home. I didn't want to mention it to you because I thought, you know, it might bother you. And I figured, why rub confetti into the wound? <laughs> sure, thank you. Oh, hi, Garrett. Come on in. Oh, uh, hi, Joe. How are you? Uh, I thought you were alone. I could come back later. Hey, it's okay. Really, you're not interrupting anything. Uh, what is it, Gary? Well, it was just something I was going to give you, but I, I guess it can wait till later. Well, you're here now. Why don't you give it to me now? Well, it's not exactly a tangible thing. Gary, would you give it to me, please? Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh. Honest, I swear. You didn't mean a thing. <laughs> I mean, my, my eyes were open. Nobody got turned on. <laughs> I can only speak for myself, of course, sir. It's unanimous, Gary. <laughs> well, I, uh, I got a split now. I, I got a really hot date tonight with a beautiful girl. Sure hope she likes the evening I have planned. I'm a, I'm a little nervous about it. Oh, tell me, what do you got planned? Well, see, I've, I've rented a tux, and we're going to eat in the best restaurant in town, 100 stories up in the air. And then, then afterwards, we're going to take a horse-drawn carriage through Central Park, we're at the, at the stroke of midnight, I hired an old man and a midget to jump out of a bush to, to symbolize the old and new year. And then, and then, I'm, I'm going to present that girl with a jade necklace. And Gary, you're worried whether she'll like it? And not everyone likes jade. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay, I got Happy, you. New year. Okay. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Well, I... I guess I better be going too. It's yeah. a two hour drive. Right. Happy New Year. Happy babe. New Year, Joe. Oh, listen, have a wonderful time in Connecticut. You hear me? Nice. And drive carefully. Oh, I'm not driving. They uh, chartered a bus for the whole they gang. They chartered a bus for the whole yeah. gang. That is terrific. Yeah, with a bar and a band. How wonderful. Stop. I can't take it anymore. Besides, I have to make a phone call. I'd love to hear the rest of your plans. So I'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow, huh? Uh, you mean next year? I mean next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Joe. Bye. Bye. Brenda, me. Listen, Brenda. Brenda, you are invited to a party. I said you are invited to a party tonight. Do you hear that, New Year's? You're not going to get me. Listen, here's the plan, Brenda. We're going to invite a whole lot of people, and we're going to have a great time. Not just a party. The most wonderful party ever. Because, see, we have a lot of things to celebrate this year. Where's, Where's the, the party? When do we leave? <laughs> Well, I ran up the stairs. I took them three at a time. What's going on? Okay, okay. What's going on is that I am giving a party tonight. For New Year's? Yeah. I thought tonight was just another night. It was just another night when Joe was staying home alone. But I'll be darned if I'm going to be a sad sack while he's out having the time of his life. Well, what's he doing? He's taking a bus to Connecticut. Lucky stiff. <laughs> well, you're going you're gonna to come to the party, right, Brenda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be terrific. I mean, more fun than anything. More fun than seeing an old man and a midget in the park. <laughs> oh, took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> but who are we going to ask? It's so late. Everyone must have plans by now. Not my friends. <laughs> Not my friends. Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Carlton, um, I'm giving a little party tonight, and I'm going to have a lot of people coming up to it, so uh, I wanted just to alert you. Yeah, I got you. Okay. And, and Carlton, um, but you're not doing anything tonight. Maybe you'd like to come. You're welcome to. Oh, I don't know. Some friends of mine were planning a little get-together. The fire's already going in the trash can. <laughs> See, Carlton, this is really going to be fun. See, Brenda will be here. Oh, really? And perhaps some other people from the building that you know. Well, I don't yeah, know. You will have a great time. <laughs> Brenda, uh, it might, may not be quite the party I promised you. What? I realize I'm begging Carlton to come. <laughs> that is low, Rhoda. <laughs> so, Carl, do you think you can make it? <laughs>
you make out, kiddo? Uh, oh, you got some party stuff. Yeah, but it was really rough. Every store was either closed or out of everything. Mm. But I finally lucked out. The dime store had some Halloween stuff left. Yeah. So, what do you want to herald in the New Year as? Planet of the Apes or Spider-Man? Oh, Brenda. So, did you get any more people to come? Yeah, we're in luck. Sally's flight was canceled because of the snow. She is bringing the crew. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pilot's terrific. Uh, her buck said that uh, he can come. I got to Our her buck from Weight Loss Club? Right. Great pilots, her buck, Carlton. This is going to be a wing game. <laughs> yeah. Hiya, Gary. Hi, Brent. How are you? Okay. Gary Levy, you look sensational. Yeah, I know. A lot of good it's going to do me. I came to tell you I can make your party after all. Oh, terrific. Not so terrific. My date's sick. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, not just sick. She's got pneumonia. Oh, I'm very sorry, Gary. If it were only walking pneumonia, she could have gone out. <laughs> anyway, I, I canceled the dinner, but I still had to pay for the horse-drawn carriage. Oh. So if you need anything later from the store... Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gary. That's very sweet. Don't you worry, Nancy, because you're going to have a great time here, all right? I mean, a lot of people are coming. We're going to have a terrific party. Yeah. Oh, Keith, see? Okay, people are here already. Okay. Arota, hiya, Herb. I'm so glad you could come. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. Oh, us? Oh, yeah, I want you to meet my mother. <laughs> <laughs> terrific party, your fat guy and his mother. Herb, you didn't have to bring anything. I have so much food here. I didn't. They're empty. <laughs> Easy to bring home the leftovers. <laughs> come in, come in, please, and make yourselves comfortable. That's uh, my sister, Brenda. We'll have her. Yeah. And that's our friend, uh, Gary Levy. Gary, Well, well, isn't this nice? I'm so glad you all could come, really. I mean, New Year's Eve. What fun, huh? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> let me take your coats. Yes, great, Brenda. Take the coats. Get this party rolling. I'm going to just get some uh, something to drink for everybody. I bet you're all thirsty as can be, right? Of course, I don't know what you want, but I'll just put everything out. Okay? Rhoda. Oh, and Herb, a jersey that you're going to love. No diet tonight. <laughs> and Gary, there's apples there. I know you're fond of this, so I brought them out. Rhoda, yeah. just relax. You don't have to keep stuff going. Calm down. The party will take care of itself. Thank you, Brenda. You're right. I will just let it take care of itself. Good. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's have some drinks. <laughs> a bit of the bubbly. Won't you sit down here, Mrs. Buck? I don't need any help walking. Oh, I'm very sorry. Sitting, I need help with. <laughs> right, people. That's the way to go, Herb. Good, good. It's a good party. <laughs> so, uh... Any more coats? I wish I had mine. Okay, everybody, champagne coming up. Here, Mrs. Buck. Thank you, much. Yeah. Brenda? Ah, you gentlemen. I hope you like it. Uh-oh, my filling fell out. <laughs> Do you have any cotton balls I could stuff in the hole? Right, right through there, in the bathroom. <laughs> I hope she won't have to leave. Me too. What would this party be without her? <laughs> Gary, will you stop being such a downer? The party isn't that bad. Rhoda? What? Yes, it is. <laughs> no one's mingling. Come on, we gotta get this conversation going. Uh, so, Herb. <laughs> Isn't it funny? We've been at the weight loss club for so long, and I don't know what you do. I mean, it's nice to get together socially so I could find that out. All right. <laughs> so, Herb, what do you do? I'm a glass blower. Oh, well, what, uh, what kind of things do you do? Well, <clears throat> mainly I blow bric a brac. <laughs> it's so nice of you to bring your mother, 
her. I mean, you know, a responsibility being yeah. an only child, I guess. Oh, no, no, I, I'm not an only child. I got two brothers and three sisters. <laughs> oh, that's good. Then, then they help you out. Now they all moved away. We do. We don't know. <laughs> You know what's really a shame? I have never looked better in my life. This is a waste. Do you, do you think Rhoda will mind if I use the phone in the bedroom? No, who are you calling? Well, somewhere out there's a girl who's been to a party like this tonight. She's home by now. Oh, here she is. Well, I found a cotton ball, uh -huh, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be much fun tonight. Oh, I'm sure you are. Let me help you to some food. Here. That would be nice. Good. Have you got any oatmeal? No. You call this a party? Uh, Rhoda? Yes, yes, sir. I think I'm getting a little drunk. You are? I must be. I'm starting to have a good time. Give me that stuff. <laughs> well, I guess it would. Hi. Sally. Sally, you're alone, Sal. Where's the crew? Oh, well, you see, there's this huge party at the Air France ticket office, and uh, they all decided to stay. But listen, your party sounded like a lot more fun. So, here I am, there we go. So. So. Rhoda, introduce me to your guests. Uh, well, there's uh, Brenda. Hi. I know Brenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, you know who's here? Gary. Gary is Yes, here. I know Gary. Right, Gary. And, uh, Sally Gallagher, this is her Buck, uh -huh. and Mrs. Uh -huh. Buck. Uh, let me see if I can remember this. Her Buck, Mrs. Buck. Oh, my God. I just remembered. I forgot to cancel the old man and the midget. <laughs> At midnight, they're going to be leaping out at strangers. <laughs> to think I almost didn't come. <laughs> I want to tell you something that I never told you before. I know everybody thinks you're a jerk, but I think you're really cute. I just never had enough guts to tell you that. Gee, I never knew that. Oh, I think you're just adorable. No, I mean, I never knew that anybody thought I was a jerk. <laughs> Sir, you're a really sexy, attractive guy. Brenda, Brenda, stop. I think of you like a sister. Oh. Want to go up to my place? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to, but I think I drank too much. I'm starting to feel a little nauseous here. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not, it's not that bad. It's uh, if I take some Maalox or something. Forget it, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Why don't you just sit down? Uh, excuse me, Herb. <sighs> Sal. Sally, are you okay? Huh? Yes. I'm sure you're okay. Sally. Yes, yes. Why do you keep asking me that? Because moment? the television set is off. <laughs> I was just sitting here and I was reflecting on the past year and I know that next year is going to be a better year. If only because there won't be any more bicentennial minutes. <laughs> Quiet. Come on, let's make some noise. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. No, Brenda, I met with these. Hey! Is it time to go home? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, look, here, ha have a noisemaker, huh? <laughs> well, here, let's see. Well, no wonder you blew your cotton ball into it. <laughs> So, listen, we don't have hats, so everybody's going to put on a mask, okay? Yeah, mask. I am not putting on a stupid mask. Gary, don't be a drag. It's a party. Put on the mask. <laughs> put on the mask. That's it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're ready to usher in the new year. Oh, 
Oh, excuse me, I must have the wrong call. Rhoda? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nice to see you, Joe. Gee, you look, you look, uh, you look great. Yeah, you uh, look uh, great, too. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, boy, am I glad to see you. Uh, I took a big chance and that you decided to stay home after all. Yeah. So what happened with uh, Connecticut? Well, it kind of got out of hand. Uh, no, there would be too many people there, and uh, I just wanted a nice, simple, quiet New Year's. Yeah. Well, we all feel the same way. Me, Cheetah, Duffy. <laughs> Joe, can I get you a drink? Oh, yeah, that's great. Listen, uh, I brought this for us. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, let's have it where it's uh, quiet, huh? We can talk. Great. Terrific. Okay, if you need me, we'll be in the bedroom. Look at that. You had your chance and you blew it. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay? Because I feel bad about taking you away from your other guests. Oh, Joe, if you'd been at this party as long as I have, you would not be saying that. <laughs> one more minute till midnight. Ooh, it's only one more minute till midnight. Yeah, I heard. Isn't it strange how they make such a big deal out of one more minute to midnight, huh? Yeah, oh, Joe. I've been pressing all night to have a good time, you know? This is so much more sensible. Oh, yeah, I'm glad that we can just treat this night like any other night of the year. Mm -hmm. It's true. Six, Here they go. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, we're doing it, Joe. They're out there uh, making crazy noise with the voice makers and singing all Lang Syne. And here we are, you and I just having a nice, quiet, everyday chat. Yeah. I'm really glad that I came over. Oh, I am too, Joe. Really. It's just, I was so smart not to go up to Connecticut. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because they have so many, so many crazy drunk drivers on the road. <laughs> Especially up there with all that snow. You know, I walked over here from my apartment. I could have taken a... Happy New Year, babe. Happy New Year, Joe. Then <laughs> Happy New Year to you, too. <laughs> Thank you. I've always been light on my feet. <laughs> you know, i really like to get to know you better. That's very sweet of you. What do you say? I count to three, and then we both take off our masks. <laughs> Two. I'm not wearing a mask. Good night, uh, it's a lovely party. Uh, uh, excuse me, who was that masked man? 